Have you ever wondered how to make guitar easier? Well, in this guitar lesson, we're gonna be looking at some open chord cheats. What are open chord cheats? Well, one of the main difficulties beginners have is switching between chords. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a few chords and see how we can make the switches easier. Not only are we gonna be looking at that, we're also gonna be learning some new chords based on what we already know. So our first open chord hack is the G to the D chord. <laughs> This is quite a change using your fingers, but there is a way to make it easier. So our G major to our D. What stays the same there? Well, if you look at that closely, the third finger stays where it is on the third fret of the B string. So if you keep that finger rooted down, it really only means you need to move these first two fingers down to your second fret of the G and the high E, and then we just remove our little finger, and then we have our D major chord. If you're going to D major to G, then you just reverse that, but you still keep your third finger down, place your first two fingers up the top, so our second fret of the A and our third fret of the low E, then we plonk our little finger down on the third fret of the high E. So we've gone from D to G, and we can go to G to D without ever moving that third finger. So that's hack number one. So this next hack is slightly different where you may actually know the chords already. It's using some famous songs, but we're just gonna go through it because I think it's an easy way to learn some new chords. So we've got our G major chord. What we can do is we can keep our third and our little finger down on the third fret of the B and the high E string, but we move our first and our second finger down one string. So our first finger is now on the second fret of the D string. Our middle finger is on the third fret of the A string. We strum all the strings from the A string downwards. We have a C add nine chord. So this chord is used in Taylor Swift, uh, we are never ever getting back together. It's also used in Time of Your Life by Green Day. And the great thing about this chord is that it's really easy to go from the G major chord. Not only is it easy with your fingers, it also sounds really good. So if we just do a slow motion movement. The only fingers we're moving are them first two fingers and they're just going down one string. Back up to our G major, one string. To our C add nine, down one string. Okay, the next chord that we can learn is a C over B chord. So for this C over B chord, we place our first finger on the second fret of the A string and then we strum from the A string downwards. Again, this makes it really easy to switch to from the chords that we just learned, the C add nine and the G chord. So if you watch this. Or if we're gonna wanna go back to the C add nine. So just off that one G major chord, we have now learned another two chords. So the next hack is the C to A minor chord and vice versa. So C major to A minor. So what's changed there? The only note that is different is that we're not playing this third fret A, which is a C note. Okay, we're gonna tuck our third finger behind our second finger on the second fret of the G string. So that is an A. Shun from the A string downwards like we would with a C chord, but we now have an A minor. So we can switch between two chords just by moving one finger. The next hack maybe shouldn't be called a hack, but it might be something that people overlook. 
So you should know your E major chord. And we also have the A minor chord that we looked at before. Now these two chords don't often go together. They have a very kind of Mexican Spanish sound. But it's still interesting to see how your fingers move. So, so if you look at it, it's essentially all your fingers are just moving down one string. Our E major. So our second and third fingers on the second fret of the A and the D string. Our first fingers on the first fret of the G string. If we go to an A minor. Now our first fingers on the first fret of the B. And our second and third are on the second fret of the D and the G string. So it's important just to look at your fingerings for these chords and you may be able to find other ways which will make one playing the chord easier or two switching between the chords easier. This next one is just a little bonus tip, it's not really a hack but this chord seems to cause problems with everyone, it's that dreaded F major chord. Okay, we have to use a bar. It's pretty horrible to play. Is there an easier way to play it? The answer is yes. Okay, so we're going to use our third finger on the third fret of the D string. Second finger on the second fret of the G string. Then our first finger on the first fret of the B string. And we're going to strum from the D string downwards. If we were to just strum the D, the G and the B string, that would give us an F. Now that's quite difficult to do when you're strumming because you're going to need to avoid the high E string otherwise you're going to turn it into that major 7. So how can we change that? Essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to place our first finger down as a bar. Now I know I know we said about bars, okay, but this one I see it as like an introduction to bars. Essentially we're only barring over the first two strings. So this makes it easier to practice rather than barring over all six of the strings. So if we place our bar on the first fret of the high E and the B string, then place our middle finger on the second fret of the G string, then our third finger on the third fret of the D string, strum from the D string downwards, and that gives us an F major chord. Remember, if you've got your third finger here on the third fret of the D string, try and make it touch this A string and that will mute it. That will give you a much more freedom when you're strumming not to hit any rogue strings. So that has been my video on how to hack these open chords, make them easier to play, maybe easier to switch between and we've also learned some new chords as well. So if you enjoyed this, so thanks for checking out this lesson and if you enjoyed it click that like button, click the subscribe and the bell and you'll be notified each week when I upload a guitar lesson.